good day everyone mr cargill here with the next autocad video now in this video i will be showing you how to draw a triangle equal in area to a given circle but before we get into the video remember to drop a like if you found this video helpful and you can also subscribe for more technical drawing and autocad content all right so for this drawing it says that the first thing we're going to do is to draw a circle of diameter 56 millimeters and then divide the radius OB into seven equal parts. This is the radius here, OB. All right. And the diameter of the circle is 56, which means that the radius would, would be 28. All right, so let's get into it. So come here, select circle. Just choose a place to start. All right. And for the radius, the radius is going to be 28. So here I'm going to type 28 and press enter. All right. So this is our circle. So now, right here, this is object snap. Ensure that you turn on object snap and click the drop down arrow and turn on quadrant here. All right, so I'm gonna select a line now. And from the center here, I'm going to draw that line down to this quadrant right here. Go to space bar, get rid of the line or escape. So now the next thing I'm supposed to do is to divide this line into seven equal parts. I'm gonna divide this line by typing divide so i'm just going to type divide and it says select objects to divide so click on the line it says enter the number of segments i want to divide it into seven so i'm going to type seven and press enter so now this right here as you can see is divided into seven equal parts now if when you press divide you don't see anything happening what you have to do is you have to click on the line and then type edp and go to ddp type and then you can select any one of these that you want and this would be set at five and change it from five to one and click ok all right all right so here this line is divided into seven so it says that the next thing we're supposed to do is to draw a tangent vx to ab and step off vc to three and one over seven times ob so what that means is this this line right here vx this is a tangent all right to a b right here good and it says that from b to c is three three times three and one over seven times o b so what that means is that this entire distance from b to c would be three times the radius so three times o b plus one of these seven divisions right here so as you can see the marks one two three and then one of the seven divisions right there Right. we know the length of ob we know that ob is 28 because we know the radius is 28 so this is 28 times 3 which would be 84 all right so that would be equal to 84 and then this part right here is one of the seven divisions since this is 28 if you divide 28 by 7 you will get 4 so that means that one of these divisions would be 4 millimeters so that means that this would be 20, 20 84 plus 4 which would be 88 and we can measure just to ensure that that is correct all right so let's do that now right here it says that we're supposed to draw the line BC so let's measure this distance so from here to here as you can see that's 4 all right and since the radius is 28, I will need 3 times 28, that would be 84, plus 4, so that, to that would be a total of 88. So from here, I'm going to draw this line, 88, let me turn on ortho to ensure that the line is horizontal, and I'm going to type 88 and press enter. Good? Nice. So now all I have to do is click on this line, extend it up to here, and then draw a line from here to this point down here and that's what triangle as you can see in the drawing right here so that's what triangle it's a very simple drawing all right so just to highlight the triangle a bit i'm going to select the hatch over here just click on hatch or you can type hatch i'm going to select a solid hatch i'm going to click here click here all right and there we have the triangle and this triangle here is equal to is equal in area to this circle so this is how you draw a triangle equal in area 
to a given circle i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you found it helpful remember to drop a like and subscribe for more technical drawing and autocad content do have a wonderful day